Hi there, me, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. So, this is going to be take 904 because Birdface here decided to be a bit of a chatty bugger. So, hi, all my stroke folk. So, I noticed we've gotten up to 115 subscribers. I'd like to thank all of you that have taken the time to subscribe, all of you that have taken time to leave comments. I'm going to be doing a comments and questions video shortly. Um, for those of you that are on the Twitters, uh, that have taken the time to comment on my material or retweet something, thank you. Um, I'll just like to take the time to thank all of you. So, that being said, right now, let's just talk about a bit of the state of the channel, what's going on. So, you'll all notice my uploading schedule's been a bit wonky. So, needless to say, things in my, in my world have gotten a bit interesting. Can't really comment on how right now, but I will in the future when I'm available to. So, that's about that. So, let's just talk about kind of where I'm at and what's going on. So, I'm still going to be producing content. Things might get a bit frenetic, unpredictable at times, and I'm going to apologize for that right off the hop. Um, I don't mean to be that way. I'm still trying to stick to the Wednesday Friday schedule. However, sometimes that might not be as as viable as I would like. So, got some good news though. Uh, recently, uh, I've been accepted into a in hospital stroke mentor program. It's a voluntary thing. So I will volunteer with an agency, and once I've actually attended the training, I will get permission to publicly disclose that. Uh, in a more official context. So I've been accepted into a training program <clears throat> where I will be able to go into the hospitals where someone who has just had a stroke and I will go in and go, hey, you've just had the worst day of your entire life. Yeah, that was a horrible day, but there'll be better days. Some days you're just going to be like worse. Some days you're not going to understand, but there will be more days. So I never had that opportunity when I was in the hospital. It, it did, did not or does not exist in my area either at that time or at this time. And I'm almost a year and a month, a year and two weeks away from, you know, uh, being, uh, being 13 months post-stroke. So after my brief unexpected hospitalization, literally it was like, well, here's a packet of information and there's the door. Right? No one bothered to tell me that in my city every the first Thursday of every month there's a stroke survivor and caregiver get together group no one was able to tell me that every Tuesday there is a stroke survivor walking group in one of the local malls no one was able to tell me that there's a local brain injury association so with all of that I had no idea that even existed other things like getting an eye appointment. Um, I live in the province of Ontario. In Ontario, you have to pay an eye doctor for an eye exam. Uh, no, you do. It's kind of a shitty thing. Um, so I called my insurance company and said, listen, you've already given me the refund for my one yearly eye exam, but I know they had. Are you going to second guess everything I'm going to say, you little winged rat? So he's just off camera sitting on my knee. Um, so I called my insurance company. Come here, buddy. I called my insurance company and they said, well, we've already given you your one, you know, I guess he didn't want to be around. Every two year, oh, and he's back. Hey, buddy. And for those of you that witnessed the landing, that's why we call him Crash, because he's not so graceful on the downstroke. So, um, thanks. Interrupt the guy with a brain injury, you fucking idiot. Way to go. Um, oh, I, I, I exam. So the insurance company basically told me, no, we're not going to do anything for you. I then called the OHIP offices. So it's the Ontario Helping. <laughs> OHIP. You know, there's no such thing as BHIP. There's no bird hip. Okay. So I called the Ontario Health Insurance Program and I spoke to one of their <laughs> customer service operators. And they basically said, go to your GP, get a note that you've had a stroke and you would like an eye exam. And even my GP was like, what do I want to do this for? I'm like, because OHIP says they will give me a free eye exam if you sign off on this. So 
even my doctor um, was pretty much uninformed. Like, did you just write a note for me, and it lets OHIP pay for an eye exam. And he was more concerned at times about writing me notes on how it's going to come back on him than what I, my needs, right? So even doctors are really uninformed. It's, it's not that they're not educated people because they've gone to school for a really long time. They're just woefully uninformed and uneducated about the resources and how to acquire those resources after a stroke. So I have a couple of advantages after my stroke and I have a couple of disadvantages after my stroke. And they're almost the exact same set of information. I'm very high functioning. To look at me, you, you, you'd, you'd never know. You'd never know I've had a stroke. Um, I have foot drop from time to time. I gotta get really tired for the foot drop to come out. Um, I do that whole leaning toward my, toward my um, um, impacted side. Again, I have to be ridiculously tired for that to come out. Um, I have um, aphasia, anomia, and apraxia, some verbal problems, some communication deficits. Generally speaking, they don't come out. Like, they don't come out. Generally speaking, I don't have a problem with them unless I'm overstimulated and not in a good way. Um, unless I'm overtired, again, not in a good way. Um, unless I'm over emotional again not in a good way uh, so those emotional problems will just happen to come out not emotional sorry communication problems so again, again I do have some some emotional regulation issues at times I, I still cry unexpectedly and there's there's nothing I can do about that um, I'm still sensory sensitive to light and sound there's nothing I can do about that that may or may not get better so to look at me You'd never, never know I have a stroke. Never. Like, to, to just casually glance at me in the world, you'd, you'd, you'd have no idea. So, those are my advantages. Those are also my disadvantages. But the great thing is, I'm fairly articulate. Um, I know what I want to say. I've always been a say what you mean, mean what you say kind of person. Like, I, I've never minced words. I've never, never seen the usefulness in being two-faced. I've never seen the usefulness in being anything but being direct. Like I'm going to, unfortunately now that I've had the stroke, I have less of a filter. So I'm even more direct at times, which kind of people don't know what to deal with. Um, like, like I'm brutally direct now. Um, I, I don't mince words. If something is complete bullshit, I'm like, that's bullshit. So unfortunately that is something I probably will need to learn how to work on. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but Needless to say, I'm a little bit more direct now. Um, so I, that program, I'm not going to name the agency yet until I get permission to do so. It's an invaluable resource. It's, it's not in every city in Ontario or in Canada. It's not a valuable resource. Um, it's an indispensable resource. Right? Um, unfortunately, because it's not administered through hospitals, um, or rehab facilities, you need to get permission to go in. And not every hospital or rehab facility may see the value or the benefit under that program. I'm going to ask you to check yourself and rethink, rethink that. So, got some great news. I'm going to get to help stroke folk in person in my local area. Um, I'm going to get help, get to be able to help people navigate their new normal. And that's, that's going to be an amazing thing. That's that's truly going to be a great thing. It, it's that's the only way to put it. Another good bit of news. I, on the Twitters, <clears throat> again, my Twitter handle is in the description down below. Uh, on the Twitters, um, I've been in conversation with Sobeys a couple of times. And Sobeys has said that they are going to publicly roll out their quiet hour shopping experience for those that are neurologically sensitive or psychiatrically, psychologically sensitive to ambient noise, sound, and what have you, um, they're going to roll it out nationwide. They're going to roll it out nationwide. So if there is a Sobeys near you, or one of the umbrella stores under the Sobeys umbrella, go to your nearest store, find the manager, and talk to them. Let them know how... 
how valuable a service like that would be for you, how that would then change your shopping experience. Like, just let them know uh, how valuable that is. I'm going to be doing um, probably a video tomorrow uh, to make up for the video that I didn't do because this, I don't really count this as a video per se. Um, I'm going to do one on relationships and stroke. I'm going to do one on uh, how difficult relationships are after a stroke. Um, I'm going to, because one, it's, it's a shit sandwich trying to be in a relationship after a stroke at times. Um, it's, it's, and I don't mean, and this is not directed at my girlfriend in any way. Um, and, and, and when you see this, cause you will see this cause I know you will, you've been amazing. You've been brilliant. You've literally been the best thing ever. Right. Um, but relationships are different after a stroke. And I mean like with an intimate partner, they're, they're drastically different after a stroke. So, or, or a brain injury. So we're going to take a moment or two just to discuss that. Uh, just so I can put some things out there. I've started reading the stroke association out of the UK stroke report. It's an interesting, interesting read. I'm, that's going to definitely generate some content. I'm also working on a few other things, haven't gotten there yet, but that being said, so just a quick update as to kind of what's going on in my world, what's going on sort of with the state of the channel, what's going on um, otherwise. Right? So again, for those of you that have been watching the channel for the last almost two years and, and a month, or sorry, two, fuck, one year and a month. Holy shit, it's like I've got a brain injury or something. I can't do math. Um, for those of you been watching for the past 13 months, or almost 13 months, thank you. For those of you who left comments, thank you. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you. And if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you, um, the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being someone who appears to be immediately befuddled or confused or has lost their sense of balance. Someone has vision problems. They can't see to one eye. They only see in grayscale. Uh, they see a little dot in the world. They can't move their eyes in a certain direction. Someone has a noticeable facial droop. There's a noticeable visual slacking of the facial muscles. Someone who can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. Someone who can't smile equally effectively or at all. Someone who has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word usage for situation or context. Someone who has uh, the inability to stand unaided, has general body weakness or weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911. Something so simple can save a life.